Okay, so far so good. Now the well structure, the perforation history. You can do that manually again, the well, the date, the event. The event can be perforation like this or squeeze or plug the interval or stimulation, fracturing, well testing, barefoot, install tubing, in, uh, the casing. We do something with the casing and the packer, okay? The top, in this case, for perforation, top perforation, bottom perforation, the depth, the skin multiplier, inside diameter, outside diameter of the casing or, or the of the hole, the roughness of the tubing, okay? Outside roughness of the tubing, porosity system and common, okay? Again, we will import one table, at rows, and the data that will be used is this one, Casper. Okay, this is basically the example from T Navigator, example sample for from T Navigator. That's what we learned today. That that's what we use today. This is very very important for us to learn this software, which is very, very interesting. Okay. And the delimiter, all spaces, okay. Skip line, again, the first line will be skipped. The first column is well. The second column is date. Make sure the format of the date is the same. The event is perforation, top perforation. 300 meters, the bottom perforation, 365 meters. And this one is actually, as you can see from the gray color here, diam or diameter. So we change from radius to diameter. Okay. And you can see here we have skin still active, multiplier still active, but actually the column are empty, so I will put the skip line comment here. So I will skip the rest, okay? Click okay. Now I have the perforation event, the well structure, and the event that we have only perforation for this basic example. Okay, so we have well, the date, the event, perforation, the top and bottom perforation, okay, and inside diameter of our well. Again, touch this one, right click, select columns, select non-empty columns, click OK. All right, so far so good, all right? You can see we have perforation, we have production. We check the schedule, not yet. Okay, later on we will have the operation parameters written in table in this window. Okay, this one is strategy. So we will define the development strategy. We open this tree first, global rules, 